What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here. Welcome to Tricky Gym. Couple new things. First of all, got a new shirt. Y'all like my new shirt? Just got this at the mall yesterday. Pretty stoked on that. But uh, also, oh yes, yes, my hair. I look like, a, I don't know, maybe a Backstreet Boy from the 90s. Decided to bleach my hair just for fun. I mean, that just for fun. I've done this before. Fun fact, uh, actually, the time that I did the best of the world championships, I had also bleached my hair. Uh, that year, I finished ninth. So it's fun. I'm done with teaching, finally, so I can do goofy things like dye my hair and not a big deal. So that's just for fun. It won't be this way forever. I like to mess around with my hair. Many of you guys know I had, what, shoulder-length hair here, like in the fall, and then chopped it all off, and then uh, now it's blonde. So who knows where it will be going next. Got some good news and some bad news. First of all, let's start off with the bad news. I had food poisoning last night. Yup, that was horrible. Probably the worst 12 hours of my life. So shout out to anybody who's ever had food poisoning. That is awful. So I was up, oh, all night last night. Just sick is what just like, oh, I don't even want to go into it. Anyways, nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. And uh, yeah, try not to ever have food poisoning if you can help it. But I've got some good news, and that's check this out. We've got a brand new Mewtwo card. Not brand new, but this is a Mewtwo card that maybe some people know about and that everybody knows about. But it's uh, just figured out about this thing. Uh, probably, what, on the car ride home from Madison. Uh, Riley, Natalie, and I were just, like, talking about Malamar and, like, being like, whoa, like, if only there was a psychic Pokemon that was just like Raikou for Raikou eels, except, like, for psychic, it, this deck would be fantastic. And sure enough, uh, one exists. I just Googled Mewtwo card, and this thing popped up. We were like, oh, my gosh. So I think this thing could very well impact the meta very significantly. Pressure is an incredible ability. It says as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks do 20 less damage. That means Jet Punch does 20 less to Mewtwo, and also 20 less to the bench with its snipe. So the snipe damage from Buzzwool is uh, significantly nerfed. Also cards like Latias or Latios, right? Uh, the Psychic Latios does way less damage with its uh, breakthrough attack. And then also uh, significantly, if you're playing against Greninja, right? Per uh, pressure does decrease Greninja's Shadow Stitching damage by 20, meaning the Shadow Stitch only does 20 to Mewtwo. And if you have your Giratina promo up, then that means that uh, they're not going to be using their uh, giant Water Shrieking ability. So Mewtwo has a bunch of uses. It can't get one shot by Zorark either, which is super nice. I mean, it could if they used Professor Kokoi, but in most circumstances, it's not. I found that Mewtwo is very difficult to find on PTCGO right now. I think, like, in an ideal world, I might be playing, like, three of these, but uh, I only got two right now. So we're going to try rolling in here with a list that, uh, I don't know, this all is still a work in progress, but I think that Malamar has some potential going forward into the North American International Championships metagame for sure. Calling the Mewtwo the Buzzwool Slayer, that thing definitely takes care of Buzzwool super easily and is a welcome addition to the crew all in all. You can see I'm also checking out Oranguru again. I'm not playing Bridget, just tweaking the list. I mean, there are just like a million different things that I want to try with the Malamar decks. I don't think that they have been uh, solidified as far as the best way to play Malamar yet at all. And I think that they're pretty much all still a work in progress. I like drawing cards early, so I don't necessarily love Bridget on the first turn. You can get out a couple Malamars on the second turn, sure, but... You definitely uh, also will miss energy and things like that. So I don't you know, necessarily know if Bridget is the right card to be playing in this deck since it also is a dead card if you don't get it turn one. Also, in a hand like this, you can't really Bridget with this hand. Uh, yeah, you can Ultra Ball for a Lele for Bridget, but you're not going to want to get a second Lele down. With more of the Mewtwo focus, I think you want to not have as many EX and GX Pokemon in play, meaning you don't want a Lele for Bridget turn one. You would rather just Sycamore and draw into tons of cards so that Buzzwool and the likes cannot just take advantage of the EX and GX Pokemon on your bench. Now, unfortunately, we did start a Necrozma here. If we were playing three or four Mewtwo, it might have been a Mewtwo there in the start, which would have been ideal, but Necrozma in the active is fine, and we will live with it. So I think that, you know, 
Going forward, I like the Oranguru because Oranguru gives you options to continue to draw, even if you don't really have any supporters in your hand, which this deck needs very little in order to kind of maintain its speed and momentum in the turn in the ways of like draw cards. So I really do like Oranguru because it gets you kind of just what you need. Now I'm gonna Ultra Ball away probably the Guzma and the Malamar and these two psychics. So Gonna double Ultra Ball here. Hopefully our Lele is in deck. If not, uh, yep, it is, so that's good. I mean, we could have Orangarood, but we're not gonna do that. We are gonna get ourselves a Supporter. And yep, and then we're also gonna Ultra Ball away. Yes, I'm gonna grab a Supporter. I would like a Yakamor, please. And then I'm also gonna Ultra Ball away the Guzma and the Malamar, and we're gonna go grab ourselves an Inkay, see if we can get a few of those out. Then I'm going to field blower that nasty little choice band there, get that out of the way so that this Buzzwool's damage output is nerfed a little bit. So we're going to do that. And then Sycamore. Hopefully we draw into an Inke, maybe a float stone, something like that. We got all of the above. All right, this is looking great. So I could slap the Dawn Wings down if I want to and then kind of invasion retreat. Um, I think that... I probably would want to put up the Lele. I don't think that I can afford to Mysterious Treasure and um, Ultra Ball this hand. I and mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I want to keep all these things. So let's Mysterious Treasure and get rid of a Psychic. That's fine. We're going to go get ourselves another Inke. And then looking at this hand now, I think I want to keep all these cards. I think I just want to slap a Psychic Energy onto the Dawn Wings here. Maybe we can get an early Dawn Wings. That'd be good. And then, I mean, we could let the Necrozma just take a hit. Uh, we could let the Lele take a hit. Probably the Lele taking a hit is, like, slightly better. So let's Invasion and Retreat into the Lele. These Buzzwell decks don't tend to play... Um, they do not tend to play Parallel City, so I don't really need to worry about that. If you're playing against a deck that does play Parallel City, you want to be wary of that because you're going to want to bump the Lele over anything else. So you'd want to leave the Lele on the bench just in case the opponent did get their own copy of Parallel City. Now, let's see. They've got the Diancy and the Reggie Rock out. They are housing over here doing a ton of damage, but no supporter in hand. Looks like they're just going for the Jet Punch, so that is ideal for me. Now I could just play Sycamore. Uh, I've got Oranguru as well. I think that I, I, and I like dropping the Oranguru. We don't necessarily need him yet. But uh, two of these things. If my opponent knocks out an NK though, then I'm in like a lot of trouble. So I think I want to just Sycamore the Oranguru for now. Leave space for one more NK. And sure enough, yes, we were able to get the attack. That is really good. Professor's Letter here showing off his stuff. Ideal. Just getting energy out of the deck. That's exactly what we wanted. So I also, uh, I could just go in with Mewtwo. I mean, that's, that's ideal here. So Mewtwo is going to get to show off its stuff as well. I really love that. Let's, uh, let's go in here. And, and we like the Mewtwo GX. That thing can knock out. Um, let's, uh, that thing can knock out, uh, the Lycanroc, should the Lycanroc come out next turn. Let's Mysterious Treasure away this Cynthia, I think. I already have two energy in the discard pile, so that's really good. Let's just get rid of that. And then, um, yes, we're gonna get ourselves a second Malamar here. Very good. And then I got double Psychic Recharge, and... Did I just put this Inke down? Oh, no, here we go. I was, dra I was dragging the wrong like, whoa, man. Uh, I am still feeling very woozy from my night last night, unfortunately. So excuse me if I am looking a little under the weather. It just, uh, last night was probably yeah, one of the worst nights of my life. So that was horrible. But we are out here. We're getting content together. We're showing off Mewtwo here. Super Cybolt going to be shredding that buzzwall up here. So sweet stuff. And yeah, let's invasion and retreat into Mewtwo. Awesome stuff. Got the turn to Mewtwo, thanks to Professor's Letter, Malamar, all that. Super Cyborg, get out of here. So this thing is rocking right now. Pressure means that the Buzzwell deck is doing 20 less damage. That's fantastic. And my opponent pretty much has to go in with Lycanroc to knock this thing out. But you'd imagine if my opponent is going to go in with Lycanroc this turn, they probably want to knock out a GX or something like that, in which case they would probably leave... Oh, they ain't got nothing over there. Nothing. 
they've got nothing going on. They are just going to Sledgehammer. So Sledgehammer does way up plenty of damage with the Diancy and the Reggie Rock out. That's totally cool. So I can go in here with my own Dawn Wings. They had to retreat the energy off the Rock Ruff, so that's not like super alive play right now. That's totally fine. I think in an ideal world, I have another Mewtwo to go in with, but that's not what we got going on right now. So I'm cool with that. Let's just promote, yep, let's promote this Necrozma here. And I can start to load up energy onto the Necrozma. And I could, and my opponent is dead drawing those. So there's no real point in that. Let's just uh, Psychic Recharge short. And then my opponent does have one more turn of Beast Ring. That's something to look out for. I think I do just Invasion here. And then let's see. I could Psychic Recharge one more time to the Necrozma so that I can use a fourth. Um, let's see. So that I could use the four energy, you know, kind of discard all that. If my opponent happens to do something crazy like whoop up a Lycanroc this turn, then I can go four energy on this thing and knock my opponent out. I probably don't want to. I mean, like, I could play Sycamore this turn. I don't really want to get rid of my Mewtwo GX, but I do play Rescue Stretcher. So we'll probably just do that. I mean, the Psychic Energy in my hand is good as well. But I think I like just being able to see some different cards. I don't want to end my opponent. So I like this better. And this hand is way better, as you can see. Having the option for a third Inke is really good. Also having another Floatstone in hand in case my opponent like knocks this Necrozma out. I have all the things I need to come in with a Prismatic Burst for like 240 damage next turn. So, or 250? It does a ton of damage. Whatever. Here we go. Dark Flash. Knocking out this Buzzwall. Easy mode here. No problems whatsoever. Very, very cool. And we've got another Psychic Energy in our hand. Now my opponent... Still probably aboard the struggle bus. Yes, they are not doing nothing over here. Losing that energy on the rock rough is a big deal. Not having a free retreater is a big deal. A, if I imagine, my opponent is probably looking at a hand of like all energy. Looks like they do finally have, oh, yep, they're scooping. They finally had an ultra ball. They were going to be able to go get Octillery, but they were probably feeling like it was too little, too late. Whatever they did was just going to leave them too far behind. So we're going to roll one more game here with the Malamar Mewtwo deck and see what we end up playing against. Obviously, Mewtwo, you know, fantastic there, only giving up one prize, knocking out Buzzwolves. Clean is what it is supposed to do, so that was great. Also in the mirror, I mean, you can knock out Psychic Weak Pokemon in the mirror. It's an easy card to knock out Inkays with, and you don't feel bad about it. You can knock out an Inke and not feel guilty, you know, saying that, you know, oh, no, my Pokemon's going to get GX'd or something like that, because if your opponent GX is a non-EX Pokemon with Dawn Wings or whatever, then you totally don't care. Like, you are totally okay with that, because then you could come in with Mewtwo GX, and just side strike that thing. So, not a problem whatsoever. Also, really good for knocking out Necrozma GX if your opponent's playing the Psychic Necrozma. And uh, I don't know. I mean, yes, you could do 100 damage to the Dawn Wings. It's not always ideal, though. You, uh, it's not bad though. If you do 100 damage to Dawn Wings, then you are setting it up for a two hit KO. You could knock out the Dawn Wings there with a with your own Dawn Wings, without GXing, stuff like that. So it does open up some neat little options. And so long as you are just trading evenly with your opponent, hitting into a Dawn Wings or something like that, hitting for a two-hit KO is not always a bad idea because you are still keeping pace with your opponent since these decks do not play any sort of healing cards. So you don't really have to worry about your opponent ace rolling the damaged Dawn Wings, or anything like that. See, my opponent is playing Parallel City. I have opted for just the three copies of Field Blower in my list right now, especially with the popularity of Garbodor decks, so that's not really my jam right now. Um, I am just trying things a little bit differently. So let's go get our Inke, and then I don't want to get rid of more supporters. So we're going to go here, we're going to go here, and then we're just going to Cynthia, I believe. Yeah, I don't want to Ultra Ball away two more supporters. That feels like really bad. Um, I mean, I certainly could, but that, yes, it just feels bad. So I don't, I don't want to do that. We're going to try to not do that. So, oh, this is perfect. Check that out. This is exactly what we wanted. So that's cool. I can, uh, Professor's Letter here, go get ourselves to Psychic Energy. That's great. 
one of the other NK down. Uh, my opponent can filch next turn. I might be able to get myself a float stone and some Malamars and be able to go in with the turn two Super Cybolt. I think that might be ideal. Or I could uh, just go for a turn two Dark Flash. I have to hit more cards if I want to go for the turn two Dark Flash or the turn two Super Cybolt. I have to hit a float stone. So I think that I like just attaching the energy here instead. And then let's just pass to my opponent, see what they end up doing. Uh, I already have one Psychic Energy in the discard pile. So turn two, it's looking like I can go Mysterious Treasure and another Psychic, grab a Malamar of my own. My opponent throwing down the Dawn Wings here. So they are stunting, getting set up just fine. If they go in and knock out my Mewtwo though, then I could just GX them. So. Looks like that's not what they're doing. They're going to jockey for position a little bit longer here. Now, unfortunately, that parallel is putting in work, keeping me from putting down my Inke, which is a little bit frustrating, but that's fine. That is fine. Let's see. We can Mysterious Treasure away my own Mewtwo uh, attach, and then I do have a turn to attack. If they GX me, though, that feels real bad, man. That feels real bad. So I don't think I want to do that. Uh, I think I'd rather try to knock this thing out with Mewtwo. So let's see what we got here. I think I want to Mysterious Treasure away the... Hmm, I could get rid of that, and I could Ultra Ball those two things away. That, like, could be fine. Uh, I think that I probably don't need need those cards, the NK and the other um, Mewtwo. I could Rescue Stretcher them back in should I need them. So I kind of like that, and then I kind of like Ultra Balling away the Mewtwo and the Inke. And then if I hit, I just need a two-card combo. I need to hit a Float Stone and a, um, a Float Stone and an Energy in order to attack with Mewtwo this turn. So potentially should have just put that Psychic on the active Mewtwo, but this is fine. This is where we're at. What do we got? Oh, we did not get it, so that's fine here. I don't want to go in and attack my opponent. Got Rescue Stretcher in hand. Unfortunately, we have not seen any of our three Field Blowers. That'd be really good right now because then I would be able to draw cards with a Ranguru as well. Think that, I mean, going in with the Dawn Wings here seems irresponsible because then my opponent will more than likely just GX it. And I don't really have like a lot going on in the way of my own uh, response to that right now. And I could go get a Mewtwo GX, but I don't even have like Field Blower or anything like that. So I think I'm just going to Psychic Recharge. Um, yeah, like once here. And then let's just uh, let's just pass to my opponent. And I don't really want to Psychic Recharge a second time. I don't really feel the need to do that. I'm going to wait for my opponent to bite first. If they knock out my Mewtwo, then I will GX them. If they knock out a Malamar, then I will... Um, Let's see. Oh, they probably do have a Guzma this turn. Mysterious Treasure. Okay, so they probably are going to knock something out. Even if they just hit into my Dawn Wings, that's like super good. Um, and maybe is a reason that I should have just went ahead and accelerated that third energy. But I wonder if they'll go for a Malamar instead. If they go for the Malamar, that is like not ideal. Or they just, they're just biting on the Mewtwo. Oh, they don't have Guzma. They have N. This is ideal. This is exactly what I wanted them to do. I wanted them to bite on my Mewtwo first so that then I could just go up and GX them. That is a favorable position for me to be in absolutely. So that's really good. They could Mewtwo GX, you know, my Necrozma. If they do, I would love to go get myself a, yeah, let's just throw, let's throw the Malamar up. I would love to go get myself a Mewtwo again. I really want one of these Mewtwo's. They're both in discard pile now, so I think like three is ideal. I just don't have three right now on PTCGO. They're a little tough to find, so let's Psychic Recharge here. Um, yep, throw that down. And then I think, I mean, honestly, I don't really want to put the Mewtwo or the Necrozma down right now. I want to leave it so that there's like no other options for my opponent to knock out on the bench. So let's uh, Mysterious Treasure away this Mewtwo. See what my deck has going on. I do have an Inke. I do also have this Giratina. I actually like getting the Giratina out because then I can start to throw some energy on that. If my opponent does come up and like Mewtwo GX me, which is their only option, then I will just knock them out uh, with the Giratina. But 
Uh, that also leaves some problems because that'll put them back on an even prize count. I don't want to do that. So I think I'm just going to go for the ink instead. Let's just get another ink down. Then I could, yeah, let's just slap another float stone down. We're going to do that and then Sycamore. Get rid of this hand. Hopefully we'll get ourselves a field blower here. Uh, maybe we could have gotten a field blower if uh, if we played that card, but apparently we don't. So that's fine. We play three, but they're not here. That's not a problem. Don't need it. So this is why I'm not playing my own parallel. You could totally operate under Parallel City just fine. You don't really need, um, you know, you don't really need any any sort of more bench than this. You can definitely operate with two to three Malamar and an attacker. It's not ideal, like, but you can totally op operate fine. You definitely still win games. Let's just, uh, yeah, Moon's Eclipse GX. I don't really want to play any of these cards in my hand, so just going to do that, take two prizes, go one up on my opponent. Now, in order to respond, my opponent either has to get their own Mewtwo GX or they have to Guzma around. If they Guzma around, they are taking a non-EX, non-GX Pokemon and leaving themselves with like a Dawn Wings active. So that's, I'm assuming that's who's going to be the the attacker, the attacking Pokemon. Bleh. Assuming that's who the attacking Pokemon would be if they do have Guzma. They do not. So they are going for the Mewtwo GX play. I don't even know if they have Mewtwo GX in deck. If they don't, then this is a bad, bad situation for my opponent to be in. Yes, they do not have it. So I've got a whole host of things here, but none of them are going to help with what I need to do, which is to, uh, you know, uh, which is to, I would like to get the Necrozma down and then just blow up that Dawnwings, but that's fine. We will uh, definitely just deal with knocking out a Malamar of my own. That is great. So we're going to do that, get ourselves a third Malamar here. And then my opponent can GX me though. So I think I like want to save Guzma. So when my opponent GX is me, um, that or I can go in and actually attack with Malamar this turn. That's like not super ideal. But let's see here. I mean, if we hit like a field blower and like any other cards, we could probably get uh, an attack with a different Pokemon out this turn, which would be great. Uh, so I could Cynthia, or I could Guzma, and I don't really mind either of those. Let's see, do we have any energy in the discard pile? Just the one. I think I like Professor's Letter. Let's go get two more out of the deck. And then I really want a Field Blower this turn, so I think I might just Ultra Ball away too. How many Field Blower do I have in deck? I have two Field Blower in deck, so a decent amount. And I do have an Acrosma GX in there. Okay, I have my rescue stretcher in there. Done. And then I could just throw down another float stone and just go for it. I think, what, I have three psychic energy in the discard pile now? Yeah, so I could, at the end of the day, go in with psychic sphere and knock out the Mimikyu. That would mean that my opponent could, I think if I just Guzma and knock out a Malamar, though, then my opponent probably won't be able to GX me next turn unless they hit a max elixir. Uh, if they play it. So I think I actually prefer that play. All right, we thought a bunch of things out. We're going to go with the Guzma play here. Just knock out my opponent's Malamar. But if they do get themselves a third energy and they do GX me, I'm in a considerably worse position. And the reason for that being is because um, then I don't have Guzma in hand. So like I wanted to potentially Cynthia there so that if my opponent did GX me, then I would have it. They just go ahead and scoop. They they ain't got it like that. So they know. They're like, all right, I'm too far behind. I can't, you know, I mean, my opponent could have like Mimikyu'd there and like copied Dark Flash, but that's not really getting them ahead. I take out the Mimikyu, go to two prizes, and then all I have to do is finish things up with like a Mewtwo GX or something like that. Uh, not Mewtwo GX, I already gx but finish things up with my own Necrozma GX, do infinite damage, and just, uh, yeah, and go from there. So anyways, that is the direction that I'm heading with the new Malamar deck. I love the Mewtwo. I think the Mewtwo works wonders and is going to have an impact on this metagame. You know, 
uh, undoubtedly. I mean, this card is going to make your Buzzwell matchup even better. So that's fantastic. Also, just great to have a valid non-GX attacker in here. And with Mewtwo and Giratina in deck, you really do have some great options versus Greninja. Greninja is six-shotting you with Shadow Stitching and cannot use their ability. So consider that for a second. You know, they are doing Shadow Stitching, Shadow Stitching for six times. Meanwhile, you're 100, 100, 100, 100, just like mowing through. So you're two-shotting Greninjas while they are six-shotting Mewtwo's. That's great. I think if you play a third Mewtwo... And it's pretty much an ideal world there. But anyways, thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel. Let me know what do you guys think of the new Mewtwo car? What do you guys think of Malamar heading forward here in the comments below? And again, forgive me for being a little under the weather this morning. Had a rough, rough night last night. So appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Going to be doing the Patreon giveaway in the upcoming week here. Got a Sun and Moon base booster box that I'm giving away for that. Also going to be giving away a lot of other goodies for the Patreon stuff. Another cool thing I got going on for Patreon subs, I've started doing Lens on Patreon, which is kind of like a Snapchat story, but it's only visible for the Patreon sub. So like I'm just going to start doing like some little vlog style stuff uh, at tournaments and just when I'm out and around doing whatever, uh, just kind of like daily vlogs type stuff for the Patreon subs through Lens on Patreon. So that's another cool thing I got going on as well. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. Peace.